Whew. Hello guys, I'm alive. I didn't know last night. I will not mention the brand so I don't get sued. But I got some brownies left. If you got any people you want to torture and get confession of, let me know. Because you feed them these brownies, they will be begging to die. I made it ten days. Had I known what they put in there instead of chocolate, I wouldn't have eaten these brownies case closed. Because it caught up with me like it always does. I have an allergy. <laughs> so, that happened. And I was begging to die and confessing to things I've never done because something had to work. <laughs> and I was waking up the last couple of days with morning sickness and I couldn't figure out why because I'm certainly not pregnant. And yeah, it was it was just brownies. Mm. And Loki was like, for the love of the gods, you're eating a Pop-Tart this morning. I'm like, seriously? And he's like, yeah, that's going to fix you right up. You watch. And he's right. I'm about 80, 90% better. The brownie after effects are hanging on, but I've got two days to recover for Thanksgiving, which is good. I kept the rest. If somebody ever royally pisses me off, I'm going to send them a package of brownies. Be like, oh, let's be friends. <laughs> Eat them all at once. Yum, yum. I know I'm evil. Okay, so I got that done. And I went into our favorite app. And they added a new world. It's unicorns eating rainbows. You heard that right. Adorable unicorns eating rainbows. Unfortunately, the unicorns were fenced in. And I threw the one human out and I took down the fences. And the unicorns could roam wherever they wanted. And I made more clouds to rain more yummy um rainbows down. And, of course, I made trees because I, I made foxes. And I made sure it rained, you know, the trees made hot dogs or hamburgers or whatever the foxes wanted. So so that's one of my worlds I saved because they replaced something. I couldn't tell you what they replaced, but they replaced something. And did you know foxes can fly? I started in space where it made sense because zero G's, right? Foxes can fly. And foxes can surf. It's not my fault with the polygon count. I couldn't tell if that was a surfboard or a paddleboard. It was paddleboards. Once I got it right what it was, it, foxes can surf. I'm so damn proud of them. They can surf. They can fly. They can ride hang gliders. They can drive mopeds. They can do everything humans do, only better. And it was funny. I put down a lot of food for them. We did their Thanksgiving today. Because I went back to the island. And do you know they have likes and dislikes or certain foods they won't eat? One of the foods they won't eat is um, fruit. They just looked at me like I was high. I kept trying to encourage them to eat these peaches. And they're like, nah, nah, man, you're, you're making us meat. So they wouldn't eat that. They would eat hamburgers. You know, juicy hamburgers. They would eat hot dogs. They'll eat pizza. But they won't eat... Um, they ate a little turkey, but they really didn't want their turkey. They like their pumpkin pie, though. They like their pumpkin pie. These foxes go for our wordies. And it's stupid how happy that makes me. Um, It's one thing looking down from above, like one of those tabletop games. You know, like you're looking down from above on it. And then, like, I took you down into it, and you can be there, and you can watch unicorns running all around eating rainbows. The only thing is unicorns, like the foxes, gotta run up and body slam you to show you they love you. Foxes just throw their whole entire body into you. And foxes do cartwheels in the air right in front of you to show you they love you. And foxes do all kind of crazy stuff. Unicorns are just as bad. They come over and they lean into you, like us. Or they, they come over and, and they go to press into you and they're like I love you man those are the best rainbows you make some premium rainbows I think these unicorns are kind of baked because <laughs> they're the most mellow unicorns I've ever seen and they're breeding I started off with just a couple and they keep multiplying so apparently if you feed them um rainbows magic happens because there's more now and we got rid of the one human I just, I don't like the humans for whatever reason. They don't take commands well. And 
it's not so much you're commanding them, you're, like, trying to get stuff for them to do, like, walk across bridges or fly hang gliders or have, have a dance floor or something. And humans are picky. They want it one second, then they don't want it the other. Foxes can want something else entirely, but if you say to do this thing, they'll do it. And you have to have voices a command. You can't say, oh, please, fox do this, or oh, please, fox do that. So they're having fun. They're having great fun. If they weren't having fun, they wouldn't be doing um, 360 aerial acrobatics in front of me. And they jump up in the air, and they turn on their side, and they fall straight on the ground. Um, foxes defy physics in that game. That's why I enjoy them, get a kick out of them. And I have the red foxes, and I have a couple arctic foxes on the island. And we now have two crates. So both crates move around. They like to jump in the pool and eat hot dogs. Um, I guess that place keeps me happy because it's so absurd. It's so stupid. It was free. It was free. And I've already spent four hours in there just world building. And then you can either save the world or, you know, scrap it and start over. And it, it it's fun to do. I think I'm going to start putting up some fences, though, because if an animal or a person or something wanders off the map, they can wander off the map and never come back. I saw one of my poor foxes, I was actually traumatized, was on the edge of the map trying to hang on. And I didn't want to move because I thought he had it, and he fell off the map, and that was the end of my fox. And I was like, oh my god, no, Foxy! The fox died! So yeah, I, I, was, I was sad. But now, now they're happy. They're happy. They're running around in pirate caps and everything else. And I had a um, space world I got rid of. I can always build it again where there were cats and foxes on the same red planet, and the cats were running around in caps, and the foxes were really wearing pirate hats, and everybody could fly, and we had bamboo that could make steaks, and we had stones that could make coffee and pizza, because this is our world. And as strange as all that sounds, somebody programmed those responses in there, because if you try something that won't work, it won't work. You can try it all day long. It's not going to work. So it's just, it's been interesting. It's been really relaxing. Oh my god, guys, I thought last night I was going to die. I was making my goodbyes to my gods. Because I, I didn't know what happened. I thought I had like that rear thing where you see usually dogs get it where their intestines flip and tie in a knot. I thought I had that. I, I thought like my appendix had burst. I wasn't sure what had happened. And I, I felt so sick, I thought it's beyond going to the hospital at this point. I'm just going to lay here and die. I really felt that sick. And like I said, I've been having morning sickness a couple mornings in a row. And had I been smart and read the package, but I didn't because this is a well-known company. And they wouldn't put this ingredient in there. Why would they? Because health food stores tell you this ingredient's so good for you. Not if you're allergic, it's not. It's like eating peanuts or shellfish if you're allergic. I don't care how damn healthy it is for other people. It'll kill you stone dead. I didn't die. I just wanted to. So, if you guys like what you see, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.